making sense of the semen analysis report. Everyone knows that the man needs to produce good quality sperms in order to get his wife pregnant. And the test for that is actually quite simple. All he needs to do is do a semen analysis. Doing the semen analysis is simple enough, but interpreting that sperm test is exceptionally hard. And there are multiple reasons for this. Now with some reports, it's not hard at all. For example, if the sperm count is zero, which is called azoospermia, then you know the man has a problem. Of course, you also need to remember that lots of labs aren't very careful about doing a semen analysis and sometimes they'll just casually report it as zero when in fact the man does have a few occasional sperm. So it's important that the sperm sample be centrifuged and the pellet checked for sperms. But let's suppose there are sperms. That's when the problem really occurs because part of the problem is a semen analysis is not a very expensive test as a result of which lots of labs do it, but they don't do it well at all. The technician is very casual. They don't have the proper equipment, what are called counting chambers. And sometimes they write just whatever they feel like. And this causes a lot of harm for patients, especially because patients get confused. They're not sure whether their report is good or bad. They recheck it from another lab, which gives another report, which confuses them more. It's obviously not good for doctors either because doctors don't know whom to trust. And that's why it's so important that if you're doing a semen analysis, please do it at a reliable lab, one which gives you a detailed report, one which can be trusted. Now, not every lab is a good lab and obviously I don't know all the labs and that's why it's important that you ask your doctor which is a reliable lab for doing a semen analysis. Just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's easy to do properly, remember that. So let's say you do go to a reliable lab and you get a report which is normal. That's great news. You can reassure yourself that prima facie everything's fine. But understand the limitation of a normal semen analysis report. We can count the number of sperms, we can check the motility, but that doesn't mean we can tell you whether these sperms are capable of fertilizing your wife's eggs, which is really all you care about. It's not like a bank account that you care whether the count is 10 million or 20 million. And that's the one question. Can your sperm fertilize your wife's eggs, which we cannot answer by doing a semen analysis, unfortunately. What if your semen analysis report is abnormal? This again can be a problem. So rule number one, never panic. Never go by just a single abnormal report. It's common sense that you need to repeat it again, preferably from a better lab. And you should wait about six weeks before rechecking because sperm counts do fluctuate and go up and down. If it is abnormal, then yes, you will need to consult an IVF specialist who can explain to you what your choices are. The bad news is there's very little we can do to increase your sperm count either with medication or with surgery. But the good news is that no matter how terrible your sperms, we can use IVF ICSI technology to fertilize your wife's eggs with your sperms in the lab. Confused about how to make sense of your semen analysis report? Not sure what it means? Please reach out to me. I'm Dr. Balpani. I run an IVF clinic. And my website is www.drmalpani.com where I'm happy to offer a free second opinion. See you there.